I'm going to talk about my Q3 goals. So in the last video, I did express some of the insecurities and frustrations that I'm feeling as I transition from working full time and doing the more traditional thing to an entrepreneurial life. I want to say like, please excuse my wall is dirty. My kids color all over it and the lighting is poor. It's not the best time of day, but I really have strong feelings about this video and I wanted to get it out. So I didn't wait for optimal conditions. So here we go. So elaborating a little bit on my last video, there are a lot of areas in my life where we're trying to like establish balance and establish a new routine. So when I'm talking about Q3 goals, I have three areas that I am thinking about. Business, my home, and my kids' school. So for business, you know, that's blogging. What I'm talking about here is building the blogging business. There's a lot of aspects to that. I'm going to do a couple more videos diving a little deeper into those goals. Home, just this is what I was talking about in my last video, figuring out priorities and balance with this new area. And school, I homeschool my four children and it is school planning time. So th these are all the ways that I want to kind of be the best version of myself and I just decided to go big on these goals I felt ready to kind of share some of the more personal like the ideals that I'm striving for and um, I thought it would be helpful at this point to add a little bit of focus to what I'm doing so in my business I pulled some numbers and I have been stuck around $200 for three or four months so with the Google algorithm and what everybody's talking about, I decided to do some things to diversify my income with site one. Now site two is ticking along really nice and everything looks fine. But when I talk about the barometer of my success, I'm talking about site one. So for site one, my first goal here is to break $500, okay? In the next three months, I want site one to earn me $500. Okay. Uh, there's a couple ways I'm going to do that. I have an email list that I set up. I have, um, I want to do the email list to build relationships. And then there's some optimizing. The amazing Josh Coop of White Hot Hat Blogging and I were talking and he gave me a list of things that I can do to maximize my revenue and I'm just not going to sleep on those, okay? I'm going to do those things. So that's optimizing. Again, there's a whole nother video that I have scripted here to talk about these things, but this is business, okay? So business. Basically here, when we talk about goals in our family, our goal is to start earning our money, our full-time money from these online businesses. So for that to happen, I have to start making more money. I am making more like eight or nine hundred dollars a month freelance writing, and my husband is picking up shifts at work, and he's covering the rest of the money. Also, right now there's seasonal work that has to do with homeschooling that I also do. I want to talk about my home goals, and this I just really wanted to clarify what I was talking about for myself, and a lot of what this YouTube channel is for me is about clarity for myself. It gives me a chance to pause and reflect on what's going on. Sorry, I feel like I've been really serious in this video. It gives me a chance to pause and reflect on how I'm doing, what the real numbers are, and like where I want to go. So the first thing that, it, this is personal, but it's okay. In my house, we have been eating a ton of junk food. And part of that has just been my husband taking over the cooking. Not to bash him or anything, but... <laughs> My kids yesterday were like, Daddy makes frozen pizza for dinner, for lunch, every day. And I'm not better a lot of the time. The reason that we're trying to make this online business work is because our current work situation is very stressful. So when my husband is working his full-time hours, there's a lot of dinners that we have butter and noodles because that's all that I can get my brain to come up with for meals. So for food goals in my house, um, I want us to start doing fruit at almost every meal, I want us to do whole grains. 
daily. And then I want um, soups every week. Okay, so it's very personal. And I know that a lot of you are not here for that, but we do the whole, we grind our own grains at home. So it's like this high nutrient, highest possible nutrients we can get from grains. We do a variety of grains. So I want to make sure that we're doing that every day. It helps everybody's health. Um, fruit, because we're not having a lot of luck with vegetables. So make sure that we're incorporating a lot of fruit and soup to help get in the vegetables. My kids really like the um, soups and smoothies that I make. So I need to just really maximize that. The next thing is clothes. I come from a long line of seamstresses and people in the textile industry. My grandmother, my great grandmother. This is really close to my heart. So before I started my business, I was making a lot of clothes for my daughters and my sons. And I haven't sewn a garment in, I'm like, this is so emotional, but I don't think I've sewn a garment since December, 2020 when I launched the business. So I need balance and I need to be able to use some of my time to sew clothes for my kids. So the goal for quarter three is to do three projects one for each month. So each month I want to sew something and my kids love wearing the clothes that I make them and I they do still wear them because at one point I was selling at like craft fairs and so I have a wide variety of sizes and we can still pull things out and they still wear them but I just want to do this so badly for my own heart. Um, the last thing is routines. The biggest one is laundry. In Q3, I want to establish our new laundry routine, which is going to consist of each child having their own laundry basket. And when we do a load of laundry, it's just one person's laundry at a time. That way I don't have to spend as much time folding and sorting. My kids are super helpful with the laundry. They do a lot of this stuff and they're very quick to help put things away and everything. So it's not a huge burden, but I really want to simplify that. And um, meal planning, of course, will come with that. Finally, in quarter three, we're going to be launching the next school year, right? So for school, we are working very hard. Um, you guys know I came from education, so I love planning their school year. And I, that is another one of my side hustles is I work with other homeschooling families. I help them plan their year and I absolutely love it. But um, we are switching over to a more independent self-teaching method for the kids' core subjects. We still do a lot of teaching with them. We love the education with them. We love doing school with them, but I want them to really learn to learn very well. And so I need to work on their book list. This needs to be done for this year. So I have a lot of books, but I need to pull them out and organize them. So they read independently each day. My oldest is the only one who can read independently. So we also have to teach my next one to read. We're working on that. And I just need to have a simple checklist. Um, I need to create a simple checklist for each child so that they can take a little more ownership of their learning. As a public school teacher, I know that we had this conversation a lot of times that we just need students to take ownership of their learning. And so this year's school checklist really has to do with helping my kids become um, a little more um, independent in their schoolwork, as much as is developmentally appropriate. Obviously, I have very young kids, but I want us to move towards that, where in the time that we're spending with them, we're teaching them to learn on their own. Um, and we still do plenty of school time together, so please don't think that I just lock my kids in a room with some books. No, we do school all together at the table, and I just want to focus on um, their study habits and them taking some autonomy on that. So as I reflect on these goals for Q3, I just feel like I want to make all of this work in a more practical way. Um, I want us to have a thriving business, a thriving home, and a thriving school. And I think I'm going to, moving forward, maybe each quarter, go ahead and work on these goals so that I have more of a focus. I love to follow another YouTuber, um, Rooted in Rest. She talks about a goal that she sets every month um, to help her focus and really work on an area that is important to her. So that's what I'm hoping to do. I'm hoping to focus on the business, the home, and the school and have 
goals in each category so that my family can thrive in those areas. This was a super personal video and it is a little bit different from our normal content. So this is kind of where I'm going. I really want to talk about the holistic family entrepreneur life. And to me, this is kind of how it is. I was super excited to make this video and put this list together because this is the kind of stuff that gives me life. Like I want to be a whole person and like really thriving in all these areas and not just thriving in my business. Um, and I'm going to do an update on the business next. <laughs>